All right, so it is that time of the week where we just chill, sit down, and just chat. You know, grab a coffee, grab some tea. I'm gonna be answering some of your questions. Jasper is obviously very, very chill right now, and uh, you know, it's gonna be a good time. First question is, how does one manage their time effectively. Um, so personally for me, I am a big advocate of time blocking. I have a few time blocking videos on my channel, so definitely check them out. Uh, but it just really helps me to visualize uh, in different categories, different color coordinations on what I have to do for that week, that day, and just see how much time and energy and resources I'm actually allocating into the different tasks that are need to be done. Uh, but yeah, Big fan of time blocking, doesn't work for everyone, causes stress for a lot of people. Personally, uh, I really enjoy doing it, so just gotta find a system that works for you. What do you recommend to people if their feet or calves hurt after walking or running? Um, I don't know, it's kind of a tricky question because you don't really have the entire history of what your issue is. You know, you could have tried on a new pair of shoes, you could have been running on different terrain, maybe you just didn't warm up properly. It could be an issue with your running technique or maybe there's actually something wrong with your foot or maybe it's overuse. So there are so many things that could possibly go wrong with the foot and ankle, hence why there are dedicated specialists. So I would personally recommend just going to a physiotherapist and seeing what they say because obviously they are going to be able to take a better history of you, do an actual physical assessment. Um, but yeah, for the vast majority of people, if it is muscular, or if it is tightness, you know, you can roll a lacrosse ball over your plantar fascia as well as your calves. But yeah, I mean, don't take my word for it. Just just go see a professional. What is your favorite characteristic about your partner? Um, I think it's definitely their willingness to change and adapt and improve their lifestyle. Obviously, you know, the whole like being less shitty is a big part of my lifestyle and just trying to do my best in whatever way I can. So it's just been really awesome to see how my partner implements that into their life. And not just that, but also just the willingness to make a change, I think says a lot about somebody's character. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't wanna get too mushy mushy, but uh, that's pretty cool. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Um, I'd say it kind of ranges anywhere from six to nine hours. 69, nice. But yeah, honestly, it just depends on the individual, how much activity you get per day, etc. So don't take my word for it. Just see how many hours you feel the most rested in and you know, just base it off of that. What's your favorite thing to do in Vancouver ever since you've moved? Um, honestly, it's just going out for walks. I know it sounds very lame. It sounds like a very senior thing to say, but some of the views and sights of Vancouver is absolutely unreal how like the nature merges with the massive cityscape. It's kind of crazy. And like sometimes when I see those things, I kind of, you know, it's hard to believe that I live here, one of the most sought after cities in North America. Um, so I'm very, very thankful, very, very hashtag blessed. Um, but yeah, the views, the views are insane. It's so crazy. Will Jasper get a doggy playmate someday? Um, you know, I'm sure someday he will, but taking care of one dog is hard enough. Um, I couldn't imagine a second dog, um, but also I guess it's not gonna be that big of a difference because you already have all of the stuff. But anyways, um, especially not in this space, no. But um, you know, I'm not ruling it out. I asked on Twitter what I should name my future dog and I either chose Banff for like Banff National Park because Jasper is named after Jasper National Park or Fish. It's either Banff or Fish. Let me know in the comments what you think is better. But I think having a dog named Fish is gonna be it's so funny, so I don't know. How do you find the balance between what you share with your viewers and what you keep private? Um, that is a really good question because it's definitely something I've thought about more and more, especially now that I'm cuffed with a partner. There are definitely things that I want to share just because I am just so genuinely happy and I just want to share that with you guys. Um, but at the same time, you know, there are definitely some instances where that privacy line has been crossed. Um, I know there is somebody in my current building that tagged me in an Instagram story saying that like we share the same view, which I found to be kind of creepy. Um, but also there was another person where they like found pictures of my partner and then posted it on my subreddit and like demanded to know who this person is because I'm a YouTuber and I put my life online that they deserve an explanation and I just don't think that's true. I am not a relationship channel. Um, I never started as one and I'm never going to be. So 
I don't think it's a big deal if I keep some things private. Um, I would prefer that way. But yeah, obviously, if both of us feel they're comfortable with it and both of us want to do it, it's going to happen. But I'm not gonna set like set dates or like, I don't set video ideas, but a lot of these questions are of my partner. So, you know, we'll see. But long story short, how I separate the two is if I just wanna do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. And it's as simple as that, honestly. How are you so aesthetic? Um, thank you. I'm not too sure what you mean by aesthetic. Uh, I'm assuming you talk about my apartment, but um, if you want an aesthetic apartment, really all you need is a lot of natural light as well as a lot of plants. Like I'm telling you, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all you need. Are you happy with where you are in life? Um, that is a very deep question, but yes, uh, I am very happy with where I am. You know, obviously I'm not happy about everything. I don't think anybody is. There are definitely some um, aspects of my life where I wish some things were different. However, you know, at this age, I have learned that things just take time. So it doesn't matter if everything isn't perfect because it's never going to be perfect. So I don't know. There's your inspirational word of wisdom for the day from Just Joe Lee. It's never going to be perfect. So just fucking do it. What are the biggest pros and cons of being self-employed? Did you ever want to try a corporate job? Um, the biggest pro, I know everyone says this, but it has to be the schedule and choosing your time and choosing your time when to work. Because, you know, now that I have a partner that actually works a very typical set hour, um, it's nice to just wake up whenever you want and not worry about, oh, I really need to wake up at this time because I need to do this. Obviously, there are still mornings where I do wake up quite early, but, you know, for the most part, my schedule is very, very flexible in what I do, and I am so thankful for that. I think the biggest con is it does get very lonely. Um, you know, you don't have those like coworkers to like constantly banter with. You don't have those like get togethers. You don't have those like drinks after Friday night. Um, and you don't have that sense of like camaraderie where, you know, everyone is working towards like one goal. So yeah, it does get very lonely. That's why it's super important if you are self-employed to collaborate and network with other people who are also, you know, self-employed and doing their own thing. At least even just like sitting beside someone who's also working on their laptop, like you guys could be both not talking to each other, but just the fact that you guys made plans to meet up together and be in each other's like presence just really makes a big deal if you're self-employed. So yeah, it does get quite lonely, but you know, every job has its pros and cons and yeah. It is what it is. All right, so I think I'm gonna finish off with this question um, and it is, how do you deal with comparing yourself to others in your generation slash friends? Um, so I'm gonna be completely honest and say that that is something that I am still working on. It's very easy, especially in the industry, to compare yourself with other people who are creating content and just seeing that how quickly they are growing and how well their videos are doing and how many sponsorships and brand deals they're working with. And it's just like, what am I doing wrong? Or also like, how can I be better? And there are just so many ways you can compare yourself. And not just here, there are so many different aspects where we compare ourselves to just random people even, whether it's just like how you look or your weight or your height, or I don't know. It's definitely something that I personally still am working on, but it's definitely something I've gotten better with age. And I think I just have to keep reminding myself that it doesn't fucking matter where that person is. You're not gonna affect them and they're not gonna affect you. Like there is plenty of space for everyone and it and it really just doesn't matter like it just doesn't matter i don't know where this whole comparison thing came from i think it came from like childhood you know just trying to like please my parents but like my parents were comparing me to like other parents kids and like why can't you be like this and i'm like okay i want to be better but it's like you're never going to be better like you're never going to be good enough for your parents so it's just like a constant i don't know maybe it's just like an asian kid thing but um, it's definitely something that I'm still working on, but you just have to, yeah, like I mentioned, 
just understand that it doesn't fucking matter. No matter how much you compare yourself to other people, that anxiety that you are creating and wallowing in isn't going to be productive. Um, if you have tips on how to stop comparing yourself to other people, leave it in the comment section down below because everyone has different tactics and what works for me may not work for you. Anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully um, you guys enjoyed our little chit chat session. Um, Jasper, I don't know if you guys can see, is just very, very relaxed right now. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to be less shitty. Jasper, do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Jasper, do you wanna go for a walk? Let's go, let's go for a walk, yeah. <laughs>